Hey guys, so today I mainly want to talk about the difference between the Garmin Oregon 600 um, GPS as well as the newly released Garmin Oregon 700 series of the outdoor hiking GPSs. Um, right off the bat, I'm holding a Garmin Oregon 700. It's the newly added activities tab. So basically when you turn on the GPS, this is what you see. Um, in the old device, you might be seeing something like, let me show you. In the old device, when you turn on the tab, you'll be seeing something like this, which is the classic menu, um, where you can add some features from down here, uh, all the way to your main screen, the drawers, and uh, you can also select, okay, in order to be able to use different activities, you have to go into, um, I think, your user profile to set up the activities properly for the old device, the 600. And let's see if I can access it from here. See, um, the only way for you to set up the old device, the 600, is you have to go into fitness and you have to select manually select the activity type for the activity that you are doing currently so basically at one point you can only have one activity that's active active um, if you want to do another one you have to press a whole bunch of buttons to go into here and change the activity type and of course reset up every parameter for that activity and let's switch to the new view for the new activity tab it's it's great because um every setup that you need to do you can simply press over here so a lot of features over here only pertaining to the current activity so if we're in hiking mode if i go to recording all those setup is only pertaining to the hiking mode um, if you're going to a different setup for example if you're going to road cycling you'll see the recording mode is completely different because each individual activity have their own um, settings parameters, which you can easily access by just pressing this menu button right over here. Okay. And of course, if you're using this for navigation, it's also very easy to use. So basically you just hit uh, this button, the like search icon. It brings you to the navigation like address finder and intersections and point of interest and all those kind of things if you have a proper map installed um, so that's the difference that's a major difference that I find uh, between those two GPS devices or models and uh, another major difference is the Bluetooth function as well as the added Wi-Fi sync function so you can actually have all the activities recorded on your Oregon 700 synchronized automatically to the Garmin Connect server either through Bluetooth to your phone and then to the server or through the Wi-Fi directly um, uploaded to your Garmin Connect server. Um, for the old device, there is no option to do that. Everything is manual. I remember they had an old app. I think it's not even available anymore that you can uh, do some basic synchronization um, and uploading, but I think that server is even out of service now. So this is their new trend. The Garmin likes to integrate everything into their Garmin Connect app, which I think is, is a great way to uh, simplify things. So you, for once, like you don't have to have so many different kinds of cables uh, in order to sync all different kinds of devices. So that's another major difference that I find. Um, everything else, to be honest, it's pretty much the same, like nothing have changed dramatically, like for, for example, the ANT sensors. Um, for the old 600, you can add as many sensors as, as those 700 can do. And uh, let me think if there's anything else that's different. Uh, of course, with the new device, you can choose different kinds of activity and you, you, can, you can even create a custom profile for it. I deleted all the stuff I don't want to use, so um, now it's very simplified, but as you can see, there are a gazillion of different activities you can choose from to create a custom profile. Um, so actually, uh, I guess I have to go through this. So I guess that, that could be um, bird watching. 
So you can give it a name. You can type bird watching. Sorry. Bird watch. Let's see. Okay. So now a easily a new activity is created. And of course, once the activity is created, you can go into the activities parameters to set up most important things for this particular activity. I mean, there are some data that's um, like, for example, the shortcuts is shared across all the different activities because this is not pertaining to the activity manual. This is pertaining to the classic home screen. Um, and of course, the automator, the headings, all those are actually only pertaining to this particular activity. If you switch to a different one, it's going to be a whole different parameter in those settings. Okay. So that's something different um, than the previous one. Well, let's go to the um, go to the home screen. So those are your um, apps drawers. And as you can see, if you have a 600, you can compare. Uh, most of the stuff is same. They might have some like newer, newer looking logos with like um, uh, smoother graphics or colors. But in reality, everything's the same. I can't remember if the 600 supports verb remote. If not, then this is a new thing that uh, our Garmin added to their 700 series. Okay, so I, I'm pretty sure the old one doesn't have the verb uh, control. Uh, so that's also newly added. Uh, of course, if you go to satellites, you can see all the satellites um, that the device is currently able to lock. Uh, the cool thing is like right now, I'm actually in my kitchen and indoors, it's still able to lock that many GPS, which is pretty surprising. As you can see, the um, the accuracy range is even within 16 foot, and that's that's still that's amazing. Um, let's see, share wirelessly. I think the old one have the similar function, but I don't think anybody ever uses it. Of course, the Connect IQ is one new thing that Garmin is trying to push. But to be honest, this Connect IQ is pretty much useless because I went to the store and there's nothing used for in the store uh, besides what the great GPS already provides. So if you're looking, if you only want to upgrade because of the Connect IQ, please don't. Uh, it's not worth the money to upgrade. Um, of course, the altimeter. The altimeter is very accurate in this device. I live in Miami and my elevation like in my house is probably around like uh, one to two foot. And since now I'm a little bit higher, I'm sitting, resting my hand um, on the table. So it's even higher. So maybe three foot, it's it's very accurate actually. Uh, you don't even have to do much calibration. It, it basically calibrates itself. I would say the altimeter is more accurate than what the Phoenix 3 HR watch provides. So that's a good plus. And, uh, of course, the notifications is if you have the Bluetooth enabled, you'll be able to see all your emails and stuff um, showing up over here. Everything else, it's exactly the same. Nothing has changed. Um, of course, everything's customizable. Every screen is customizable, almost. And, um, and I think that's pretty much it. And okay, in terms of performance, um, I think this performs almost the same as the Oregon 600. If you think this would give you better GPS reception, probably not, because I took this GPS to uh, for a hike at the Zion National Park, uh, right down in between the two valleys, and the GPS actually was quite bouncy and not as accurate um, as it should be. Uh, I think it's because uh, we're in the valley and the signal is bouncing around. It even thought I was on top of the mountain for a couple of seconds. So, um, nope, it's not, it's, the accuracy is not improved. It is what it is. It's, it is what it always is. Um, the GLONASS might be able, it's, it might be helpful. I haven't found any, any difference in terms of GPS performance with GLONASS on or off. Um, but it's always better to have more GPS, uh, right? And um, my opinion is if you don't use Bluetooth, if you don't use uh, the Wi-Fi feature, you 
should just get a Oregon 600 because it's the best bang for your buck. Right now you can find those for like less than $200 on eBay. Um, some even with topo maps and such. If you are the kind of guy that likes the newest stuff possible, of course, uh, this is your only device that you use for your cycling activities or hiking activities and you want to sync all your device, all your data into your phone, into Garmin Connect, you should get the Oregon 700 because in terms of syncing capability, this one works a lot better than the old Oregon 600, which, excuse me, which have to, you have to upload each activities manually um, in Garmin Connect website, which was a hassle, but since I have my Phoenix 3 HR, I actually just record all my activity over here and sync it with my phone. This one, mainly for me, it's a navigation device in case I get lost on the trail. Um, so to be honest, for me, I don't even think it's worth the money that I put in to upgrade. I, um, I bought my Oregon 600 for $200 a while back and I sold it for $180 and I got this one for almost retail price at around $360. Hopefully the price come down a little bit, um, but I think for close to $150, $150 to $160 just to add Wi-Fi feature and Bluetooth, um, it's, not, it's not worth the money. So that's just my personal opinion. Uh, of course, your, your decision is yours. Um, I just list all the differences here so you can see if it's worth the upgrade for you or not. Um, and that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about the Oregon 600 or 700, feel free to ask me in the comment section. And if you want to see the, the manual setup, um, I'll put the link below. Just look at the Oregon 600 video I've put out. Uh, that was very detailed manual walkthrough. And the manual inside there, inside the 600 and 700 is almost identical. So um, you can take a look at the, that video as well. Thank you so much guys and uh, have a great day.